Laravel Orion is a really, really cool Laravel package, probably the most exciting package for Laravel I've ever come across because it allows you to create ridiculously rich APIs with a really small amount of code whilst still maintaining a high amount of flexibility. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a feel for what you get out of Laravel Orion. And then in later videos, we're going to actually create our own API with Orion and explore some of the more advanced features. So let me just dive right in and actually show you what's available. Let's just imagine that you've created a post class and you've created a post migrations table. So basically you've got this post concept that you're ready to turn into an API. What you can do is create a post controller as you usually would. However, on it, we're going to put a protected property and it's going to be equal to post class. And that is all you need on the post controller to get this ridiculous flexibility out of Laravel Orion. And then in the api.php file, we're just going to be adding Orion resource and then we'll pass through posts and then post controller. And once again, I just want to show you in this video what's possible. So we're not actually going to be writing any code. So that's all we're going to need. If you put that into the controller and you add this to the API resource, you actually are going to have already a working API. Now there's a couple of other things that we'll want to cover like around policies and stuff like that, but this is actually all you need to have a working post API using Laravel Orion. And wait until you find out what is available in that API. So of course we've got get requests like API slash post, which is going to give us all of the posts. And then we get all those CRUD operations like create, read, update, delete. But I bet you expected that anyway. Another thing that we can do is the exact same thing for related models as well. So if I say Orion has many resource, I can create a has many relationship between a post and its comments. So we can say then, for example, post comments and just stay with me. That would be a comment post controller, something like that. And so basically that would be very similar to this code. However, in this case, it's working with a related model as well. And you get an entire API for related models out of that. So you get the basic stuff like your get requests and we also get this associate endpoint as well. So if you were to create a post request to the associate endpoint, you could even create an association between a user and a post. And that's done with, I think it ends up being about three lines of code, which is pretty ridiculous. On top of that, we also get searching functionality. So if we do a, re a get request there and we add in the word search, then that gives us a whole bunch of searching functionality as well, which I'm going to explain a little bit later on in this video. And on top of that, we also have batch operations. And I've done batch operations myself in the past and building it was a nightmare. And I ended up ditching the whole thing because Laravel Orion's batch operations are just better. So that means we'll be able to create post requests to something like API slash post slash batch. And then we can create a whole bunch of posts in one go. And of course, this also works for updating and deleting as well, which is really insanely cool. So let's have a look at the, some of the search features that are available to us. We'll be able to say get, and let's do this example with users. And if we go to that endpoint there, then we can send through, for example, scopes. And we could say, if we've got an active scope on that user class, we could just scope it to active users and that's only going to send us back the active users. So that is really cool. You can use your Laravel scopes that you've created already. However, you also have basically all of the functionality of Laravel where clauses as well. So a lot of querying power using filters. So I'll put in here, this is pretty much just where clauses, which is insanely cool. We can also search stuff. So search, for example, the word Luke, and that'll give us back users that have a name of Luke. And then you'd also, for example, specify that the column you're looking at is the name field. But we'll look, we'll look deeper into that a little bit later on in this series. And on top of all of that, we also have sorting fu functionality as well. So you can sort by things ascending and descending. All of this for free 
just with a few lines of code. Honestly, it still blows my mind. Now, one thing I was concerned about when I found out about Orion is I wanted to make sure that I still had flexibility. So for example, when I go to API slash posts, maybe I only want to get posts for the currently logged in user. How would I do that? Well, Laravel Orion makes that possible as well. You can write your own queries, write your own queries that is basically going to filter this down, but still give you all of this functionality. So we can still filter down our queries so that we're not getting data that we shouldn't be getting. This is sometimes a security issue. Orion makes it really easy to filter down those queries and it's got a really cool way of doing it, which I'm really excited to show you later on in the series. But I don't wanna get ahead of myself. Another thing I was worried about is relationships. So sometimes I want to get a lot of nested related data in one query. So for example, the user with their posts and with their comments. Well, what we can do is actually specify the relationships that will be available. And then you can say stuff like includes in your API request and say, hey, give me the posts, but they also give me the posts with its comments as well. So you've got all of that functionality available to you using Laravel Orion. And this is using Laravel's relationship system behind the scenes. So everything's still done in a very Laravel way. And the last thing I wanted to tell you was that behind the scenes, Orion uses policies, so Laravel's native policies and validation. So by validation, I mean like the, the request. So for example, uh, post request. In fact, I'll write it down here, post policy and post request. So if I had both of those classes created using you know, Laravel's scaffolding tool, then Orion would automatically pick up that I actually have a post policy and that I have a post request and use those classes in order to build the API. So this is insanely cool. We get a ridiculous amount of functionality out of the box. And I haven't even explained things like, like pagination or the lengths at which you can query your data. So I'm super excited and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it's got you pumped. In future videos, we're going to create our own Orion API and explore all of the functionality that Orion gives us. And I wanna make sure that you know as well how flexible it is so that you have the power to change things just in case Orion isn't doing things exactly the way that you like. Okay, so I'm super excited to dive into that. See you in the next video where we'll go a little bit deeper.